Hi, this is Pat's Two Cents with another one of my DIYs with Mother of Pearl. I turned it backwards so you can see the back. And that's where you apply the glue. And you see I use E6000. And all I do is put it on by beads. A lot of people spend a lot of extra money buying uh, trowels and buckets and to trowel the thin set onto the wall and they go through all those changes, but this E6000 doesn't go anywhere. And you see how I'm touching the beads? You want it to have a little give. You let it sit long enough to have a little give so it feels like a cushion, but it doesn't come off on your fingers. This right here, I'm placing it on the wall. And then the next thing I'll do is pull out the leveler because you want to make sure it's not only plumb, but level. So I already made sure it was level. Now I'm also making sure it's plumb. So that is what I am showing. Now this is my kitchen. This is just a quick overall tour of the work I've done. As you can see, my red cabinets at the bottom, they're gone. And the reason for that is I am in a white mode right now. I can tell I wanna be around a lot of white. It makes me feel like I'm in a heavenly atmosphere. It's very serene, very peaceful, and I'm very emotional. So a lot of times I have to change my atmosphere without doing a lot of work. Now this mirror mosaic I did last year, and it has been a work in progress for the last five years because it started out as just six little mirrors on the wall. As time went on, I went in my old garage, went into my bucket, and I grabbed all my mosaics. So now here you can see it's a different type of tile on the left, and then on the right, that is subway tile. And you see I changed my, my countertops. They're the same, but I just did an epoxy pour after placing contact paper. So these Countertops aren't going anywhere. As you see, I also did my floor. It's shadowed really weird because I have a light in the, in the kitchen, a floor light, just to highlight how the room looks. And those are just little push button lights that I bought from um, Lowe's. Now that mirror mosaic I did years ago and all I did was glue the whole back of board up onto above my sink because it was already done. And then I just added the little sprinkle. Now you see I painted the knobs on my stove. Now, this right here is my next project, that shelving unit. But you see the atmosphere, the feel of it. You don't really grasp it unless you're sitting in the room. But that feeling, oh my goodness, I'm really, I was really ready to get rid of all the red. I didn't want to get rid of all the accents, but I did want to get rid of the red cabinets. I just needed to be around all white. You see how that crystal sparkles off of and bounces off of the, mo the mosaics. I just love the way this kitchen feels now. It's still a little messy right now, but I'm going to get it together. Uh, I'm, I was still working on it. I wasn't completely done. Um, but I'm loving it. I am so loving this kitchen. That's my next project, y'all. Hmm. That is going to be pulled back by six to eight inches and then it'll just be widened and that'll give the chair more room to back up thank you so much for watching please like share comment and subscribe 
My channel needs all the help it can get.